This video will be working inside of our home page. So as you can see right now, we got nothing going on. So what we'll set up is uh, the home page. When we click on this, it'll send us to the home page and we'll have like a couple images in here, some text letting the user know what, what the site's about, things like that. So we'll set up a brand new component. We'll generate a component. We've done that before. And we'll set up our routing for that. We'll get the link working inside the header. So when we click on this link, it'll send us to the new component. And then we'll pull in some images. I'll show you how to display the images on the uh, home page. And then we'll finish off the HTML CSS towards the end. And that's pretty much it. So let's uh, first thing first, let's create that new component. Now the question is, where do we want to put all our pages at? Like we could, like we're doing here with the value folder, we could put our component right at the root of the app folder. But what I'm going to do is put all our pages, like our contact page, if we ever generate one of them, our about us page or any pages main pages will put within its own folder so we'll create another folder called pages and we'll put our home component in there and also i'm going to use the main app routing module for our main pages uh, so we'll put all our routes for our pages in here also we'll we'll pull in all our main pages into our main app module as well that's how i'm thinking of setting that up so it's going to be a little different than the way we did it with the auth folder here. Like here we created a routing just for this module or this auth folder and we set up its own module. Um, so we're going to do it a little different for the page folder. So let's generate our new component. So ng g and we're creating a component and we're putting it in a folder called pages and it's called home. Okay, so if we open up our new folder now, pages, and there is a folder in there called home. Okay, so before we start messing around in here, let's set up our, our module, make sure that's set up, and our routing. And as you can see here, Angular already did that for us, if we close this down. So Angular went and pulled it into the top here, and it's being brought into our declarations right here. So that's all set up, great. Now let's set up our routing. So inside of our app routing module, open this up, inside the routes, we'll create a new route. So path, and this I'm gonna leave empty. So when the route is empty, it's gonna uh, send it to the home component. So component, home component. Okay, and that's all we need to do to set up our routing. This should be working if we check it out in the browser. So if we save this, and let's uh, check this out. Okay, so our home component is being pulled in. Great. So now let's get this link here working. Uh, when the uh, user clicks on the link, we want to send them to this component. Uh, so we knocked this one out. We generated our home component. We set up our, our app routing module. And now we want to go into the header component and uh, change around that link. So hit Control P and then uh, header component. And we want to open up the HTML. And then inside of the, the A tag here, remove the href, and we're going to replace this with a router link. And then the path is going to be empty like that. And then you can get rid of this router link active. You can remove this one. And that's all we really need to do inside the header. We can save this. This link should be working now. Uh, let's go back to the home page and try that out. So click on this, and then click on that. That should send us back. Okay. Now we're ready to start changing around the view now. Uh, let's go back to our checklist. The first thing we'll do is we're gonna pull in some images into our assets folder. And then uh, towards the end, we'll just change around the HTML and CSS. Let's go get these images set up real quick. Go back here. And then inside of the assets folder, we're gonna create another folder for our images. And then I have some images on my desktop. I'm just gonna drag and drop them. So pull them in here. And then this is going to be like a background image. I was actually checking this out earlier. It looks really good with a uh, black background. And then this is going to be a computer. This is going to be off to the right side of our homepage. Now keep in mind, this folder is only for images for our site. It's not going to be for profile pictures or things like that. Like later on, actually in the next section, what we're going to be doing if we go back here, go here, what we're going to have is a profile picture up here on the right side for the user. 
those images are going to be stored somewhere else. They're not going to be stored within this assets folder. Uh, just keep, in, keep that in mind. This is just for images for our site. So if I close this down, and let's go and actually pull an image in. We can close down the header, close this down, and let's open up our home HTML. And I'm just going to display one of those images right here. So PNG. Okay. And I'll leave the alt empty for now. And that's how you call an image. So if we go back to the browser, and there it is in the browser, great. So uh, now that we're uh, pulling in our images and we can call them. Now this part, I'm just going to time lapse this, setting up the HTML and CSS because it's pretty boring. It's just H HTML and CSS. But if you want an exact duplicate of the code, you could just go down in the description and click on snippets. And you could just copy and paste it right into your uh, home page and also the um, CSS page right here. So I'll have those snippets down in the description. You just click on that and copy and paste right into these two pages. Now I'm gonna time lapse it and it'll cut like 10 minutes off the video. So I'll be back in one second. Okay, that came out pretty good. So when we click on this link, it sends us right to the register page. We click on this, sends us back to the home page. Uh, looking pretty good. There's one thing, um, I should have changed this in the last video. Uh, if we try to log in. And this, we can make this actually thicker up here. They actually have an option for that. So if we go back to our header component and we can add a option, if we go back here, and open up the header component and open up this we can add another option in here like we got going on right here and I'll just add that right on the end and then I'm gonna set that to true and we save this okay go back here again and let's try that one more time and it's a little thicker as you can see and that's pretty much it for this video so uh, if you want that snip, these snippets right here for these two pages, just go down in the description. You can just copy and paste them right in your uh, project. So in the next video, we'll go over what we, we just did. It'll be a recap and what we'll be doing in the next section. So I'll see you then.